Hello Prague today. My name is Venera and I'm third year business administration student here in Anglo-American University. I decided to apply for a program at exactly this university because of the location here in Prague and also because of people. And I'm Joey, I'm from the US. I've been studying politics and society here at AAU for about two years now. And I came because I wanted to learn a more international perspective than just the American one. So right here we have some of our outdoor classrooms. They're not actually outdoor, but when you're inside, you feel like you're outside. And that way you can stay positive during the winter when we have to study in the very gloomy mornings. And then back here as well, we have the main building of AAU. So you can walk inside and all the way upstairs are several amazing grand classrooms too. And here also we have student lounge where students can go study and talk to each other. downtime here at the university we tend to host a bunch of events and they're not all academic a lot of time we have big parties here at the cafe using the entire courtyard playing music having drinks and bonding together as students So my favorite part of the university is this, just the diverse student body, the fact that anybody can come here, and the fact that this shows itself just by how many different people, languages, cultures you can just feel by walking around campus. I also like the events that are organized by our university, and you can bring also people from the outside, that's what I also like. So when you come to the events, you can meet a lot of different people from different countries as well. Areas surrounding AAU are definitely Voya Novisari, Peacock Park, as most students call it, behind right here. So let's go check it out. So this is Voya Novisari. This is where most students tend to come hang out, especially during the beautiful springtime. So here in this park, we don't only chill, but we also have different events held. For instance, something like or new student orientation or EcoFest, which is going to be this this Friday. This Friday, yeah. Even though the student body is so diverse, there's so many different activities we can take to actually kind of bring us all together. Whether that involves going out to pubs organized by students or just going together to different educational festivals and events, you can really feel unified by people no matter how far away they're from. And also we have different clubs in the university which also bring all the students together. And we also have student council and they create a lot of events for us. So one of my favorite clubs is hiking club. Uh, so this Sunday we went to Bohemian Switzerland and it was amazing. I got to know a lot of new people. And another club which I also attend is running club. And I already went to the, uh, it was 11 kilometer run. And we were also all together. We went to another city in Czech Republic and it was amazing. I'm also part of student government here at the university and so we end up organizing a lot of the events you see on campus. We help support clubs, including the running club, though we don't run the 11 kilometers, <laughs> and we're able to kind of help support our community and further unify it too. So all of our classes in our university are held in this palace, in naturally restored classrooms. So while not all of our classrooms are this big, they tend to be just as majestic all around, that have been around for hundreds of years. So today we have all the needed technologies here for our classes. We always use computers and projectors for uh, our projects and stuff like this. And as uh, Michael already mentioned, not all the classes are that big. So usually the classes are 15 
20 people, I would say, because we professors want to keep it like smaller so that we communicate with, with the professor and between each other as well. So here we have a small student lounge as well. You can just chill here, talk to your friends, and also you can charge your phone, which is kind of useful. <laughs> So this is one of our classrooms, and as we already mentioned, the classes are really small. This classroom is one of my favorite ones because it's really cozy, especially when it's raining outside. Our teachers come from all over the world. We have over 50 different nationalities, so no matter what you're being taught, from cold war to business, you don't know who's going to be teaching and from where they're going to be. So this is our library building. We have some of the classrooms class on the second floor and the library over there as well. So we're just going to go upstairs and go inside. So this is our library, and this is the biggest English library in Prague. And also another benefit is that students and any other people from AU community can borrow any book free of charge. Including textbooks, which are really nice. And then while we're speaking loudly out here, as the library gets bigger and bigger and you go farther in these rooms, you have to be more quiet and more quiet until ultimately you're in the perfect study atmosphere. So anyone can come to the library and take any book to read it. However, only AEU community members can check the book out. which are prepared every day for our students, but now it's already over, so tomorrow we'll be ready again. We usually go for hot chocolate in here, it's really nice, especially during winter times. Anyone can come to this cafe, so please feel free to come stop by. I chose Prague to study because I knew about the amazing student atmosphere here and I also love the fact that there's such a great culture of travel and diversity. Yeah, I also like the fact that from the Prague you can actually travel to the whole Europe. So all the classes and all the communication in our university is held only in English. And also AU has US accreditation as well as the Czech one.